Now, it can get a bit cumbersome to have to make three copies of every layer in your project whenever you want to use this instant sex effect. So there are a couple ways that are more efficient to go ahead and still add this to your footage. For example, what if you have a composition where you've already built an edit, and you want to apply this instant sex look to the entire composition? Well, the way to do that is to add Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Any effect applied to the Adjustment Layer will be applied to the composite of everything underneath. So I add Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. Go ahead and blur it out a little bit here. Go ahead and repeat the edges. And then set it to a mode, such as, say, Overlay Mode. And now we've got that rich, puffed out look again. Before, After. And again, select the layer, type T, and adjust its opacity to decide how rich you want this effect. Another approach is to use effects. So let's go ahead and go to another example. Here's our footage again. We'll go ahead and add our blur like we did before. Fast blur, repeat the edge pixels, crank up the blurriness a little bit. But now we'll use a plugin called Calculations. And by the way, if you ever have trouble finding a plugin, use the Effects and Presets window. Calculations. It's a quick way of searching for any plugin without having to remember what menu it's in. I'll add Calculations. And then I need to do just a couple changes. I need to twirl open the second source, make sure that we're using ourself as our second layer, crank up the opacity of the second layer, and then once again set my blending mode, such as overlay. And the opacity of the second layer decides how much this effect I'm blurring in. If you want to also get those bright highlights that we were talking about earlier, just add another copy of calculations. Effect, calculations, After Effects always remembers the last effect you applied. And again, pick a mode, such as Add Mode, and then start adding that in ever so lightly. There we go. Before, After. Now this is actually saved in After Effects 7 as Animation Presets. Make sure inside the Effects and Presets window that you show Animation Presets. Twirl it open, go down to Image, Creative, and we have these different Animation Presets called Blooms, such as Bloom Brights. Bloom lights and darks. That's going to give you a very similar effect to what I just showed you here. You should also know that you're not limited to using the fast blur effect while doing this instant sex trick. You can go ahead and try other plugins to change the look of the image. I'm going to turn off fast blur, make sure my layer is selected, and try a different effect. For example, I like to play around with channel minimax. Drag minimax to the same position that you had fast blur. If you're using the adjustment layer or some other trick, just apply to your adjustment layer. Just like I enabled Repeat Edge Pixels for Fast Blur, I'll go ahead and enable Don't Shrink Edges for Minimax. Maximum is a good starting point, but you can try the other ones. Then just slightly increase the radius of this look. You start getting this interesting crystallized look to the final image. And again, there's a couple animation presets after Effects 7, Crystallize 1 and Crystallize 2, which create a similar look. Another interesting plugin to use is another one of the blurs. Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Vector Blur. Now when you got After Effects, on the installer CD was this whole bundle of Psycore effects. Make sure you install those as well, otherwise you're really missing out. So I'll add Vector Blur. Again, drag it up to where my other blur was. And slightly increase the amount. And you see we start getting another very interesting look. The more I crank it up, the more I'm really pulling in my specular highlights and creating an almost underwater look, but again with the puffy highlights and the richer saturation that you get with this instant sex approach. So there you go, a quick and easy way to make flat 3D renders, flatly lit DV footage, almost any shot look a lot sexier like you shot it on film. Hope you can put it to good use.